Okay, guys, I'm going to do a quick video. I'm making a vase. I got replaced my Bacca Beans drive wheel. So this thing is uh, really speedy, it's fast. That's the first thing I'm going to do. I attach my clay. All right, squeeze it up into my cone. Put it down into a mound. All right, get this centered. All right, get the base firmed up. All right, so I'm going to go for a tall vessel. Tall vase, I'm going to open my thumb. All right, oh, someone stole my sponge. Be right back. Open with my sponge, pull out my bottom wall, and I compress my wall, compress my floor, and I make sure it's completely open, nice and even. Right. And then I begin to squeeze up my cylinder. Okay. And I'm going to collar this back in a little bit. Shape. I don't want it to be a bowl, I want it to be as small as possible. I'm going to push hard with my outside hand, All right, brace with my inside hand, squeeze it up. All right, so I always push my rim back in, make sure it doesn't flare open until I'm ready for it. Right, I'm going to wet my inside hand, squeeze. Up. All right. Okay, do one more squeeze. All right. Some of this clay down here, a little thick. Squeeze that all the way up. All right, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna. Collar this in, right? Take my rib tool. I like to use my sponge on the inside now. Use my rib tool on the outside. And I'm gonna clean up and compress my wall. Clean up my slip. I take all the slip off, compress my wall. Make my wall nice and strong. Nice and even. Take off all that slip. All right, at this point, you may also trim some excess clay from the bottom. All right, get rid of it. I'm gonna go back in, just make sure everything's nice and even. Collar in my rim again. And I'm gonna go over with my rib tool. Again, really compressing this clay. All right, when I'm compressing it, I'm also squeezing. So the clay is able to move upward. Very good. At this point, I'm going to start to form a little belly. Drag this out, right, with my inside hand, pushing out a belly. So I'm going to create a more of a high belly that comes in. Okay. And then I'm going to create more of a rounded belly for this piece. A rounded, spherical shape for the body. The shoulder right, and neck, I'm gonna collar in a little more. Okay. I don't wanna collar it in too much, so I'll make sure my shoulder is nice and strong. I'm gonna go over and compress it again. Take off all that slip. 
stay is super smooth, soft. So I have to be very careful. I don't want it to buckle. Right, my rib tools, uh, and my sponge are great companions. They work well together. I'm gonna continue to collar this in. Collar a little more. Form a pretty narrow neck. Right. My uneven rim, I'm not concerned about right now. I'm just going to compress my rim. Right. I'm going to collar it a little more. Raise that up. Introducing some uh, wavy line patterns using a wooden rib to wet the tool a little. Right. And you may have seen many artists do this, it's really kind of fun. I'm going to put a line in here, and I'm going to give it an off centered soft look. And I don't want to push too much on the vessel because it may buckle too much. If he starts buckling, I'll just scrap it because at that point, it's really um, weakened the shoulder and not my ideal look. This play is super soft. I'm going to put some indents in the belly. I'll put a few points. Away from the clay at my face. I do a primarily most of your trimming. The clay is still on the wheel. Make sure uh, you don't have to trim too much later, and you can really design your edges, you know, bottom edges. This piece is very soft. Right. So there's an example, kind of like a soft, kind of quality type vessel. This could be trimmed, right? Later on, it's very soft, so we'll just leave it as is for now. Right. We've got some additional cleaning up. fun shape. The artist's hand, little imperfections, 